Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you how to make your Facebook account completely private, your Facebook profile completely private. And there are multiple steps that you need to take to make sure it's completely private. I'll show you all of them in this video. If it's your first time here, I make easy to follow social media and take videos every single day. So please consider subscribing. So here I'm on my profile page. You could access the settings page from this page or the main Facebook page. You want to click this down arrow here and go to settings. The reason why I'm showing you this on a browser is because you get a lot more options here than the mobile app. So I'm gonna to go to settings here. And the first place where we wanna change things is under the privacy tab on the site. So if you land here, go to privacy and we wanna change a few things. Who can see your future post? First, we wanna edit that. We don't want the public to see our future post. So we want friends, friends of friends, or just me. So if you want it to be completely private, only me is the option. If you want it just to be two friends, it's gonna be just two friends. You could also do this every time you post a new post. It has a drop down menu. Next, the next thing you wanna change is limit the audience. You also wanna make sure that you review all the posts you're tagged in. So make sure that setting is like mine. Limit posts past posts, let me click that. This basically takes your old post and just shares it with friends. So not with friends of friends or public. So I do wanna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and press that. Let's close that. Next, who can send me a friend request? Edit, again, if you want it to be completely private, you wanna do friends of friends. These are your options. Who can see your friends list? Go ahead and edit that. And you could just change this to only me or you could just change it to friends if you want it to be for your friends. In this case, I'm just gonna change it to only me, close that. Who can look you up using your email address? Again, it's everyone right now, you wanna change this to friends. And who can look you up using your phone number? Again, change this to friends. And this is very important. Do you want search engines like Google to find you? I'm gonna edit that and you could just check this off and this will turn this off. So now you can't even be searched using Google, Bing or other search engines. So those are the things under the privacy tab that you need to change but we're not done yet. We're gonna go to timeline and tagging next. And here, who could post on your timelines? Go ahead and edit that. And you could just, if you want it to be completely private, be only you. This kind of defeats the purpose of Facebook for me. So I'm gonna leave it on friends here. Who can see your post on timelines? Mine's only set to friends, but again, it could be set to only me to make it even more completely private. Allow posting to stories is on. You could disable and enable that if you want, don't want to use Facebook stories. Hide comments containing certain words, so you could do that and filter out that way. Who can see posts that you're tagged in? You could change this to be, again, only me or friends. Same thing, you could change this to friends and only me. Any of these, if you want it to be completely private, do only me but it will take a lot of the functionalities of Facebook being a social media platform. Review post you're tagged in before they appear. So you could turn this to on, so you have to review them. I showed you this on the other page. So go ahead and set that to on so they don't just randomly appear without you knowing. Review tags people add to your post. Again, I'm gonna turn that on. And those are everything you need to do under timeline and tagging. Next, we wanna jump to public post. Go ahead and click that. And here is a important thing that you need to change. Who can follow me? People could actually follow you that are not your friends. It's different than being your friend. So you could change this to friends. So not only friends could follow you, not just anyone in the public. This is one setting that people don't usually change when making their Facebook completely private. Make sure you change that here. Who can comment on your public post? You could edit that. Friends, any of these you could just change. Again, you could change this to nobody even. I'm gonna leave it on friends of friends. Public profile info, go ahead, who can see that? So maybe just friends could see that. Now this is even more private. And everything else I'm gonna leave off. Okay, next we wanna to go to face recognition here. And it says, do you want Facebook to be able to recognize you in photos and videos? So you could change this to be no, and then Facebook can recognize you by using facial recognition. And if you really want to give people a hard time in finding you, go to general here and go ahead and edit your name. So a lot of people just take their last name and make that their middle name. So this you could only do once every 60 days, but this will make it even harder for people not to be able to use your real name to find you here. And one last thing I wanted to show you, go to your profile page here and go to the about section on your Facebook here and you could go to contact and basic info and you could go ahead and edit and make sure your phone number is completely private. So 
the only me option is the one selected here. You could do this with all your different settings. So again, you could change your date of birth to be only you. Everything here could be selected to be only you, including your email here. And that's the last thing you need to do to make your Facebook completely private. So again, go through all the items I mentioned, make sure you make this completely private based on your preferences. So some of it could be only you, some could be friends. So Facebook could still be somewhat usable, allowing people to post. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a like and subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.